Hey guys, what's up? So as mentioned in my previous video, I really want to do a video about the latest Star Wars Episode 7 trailer because it completely blew my mind. I love the trailer. I think like everyone else, now the hype is just at an absolute peak and everyone's so excited about it. So I want to do this video uh, about some of the conspiracy theories that I read about Episode 7. So this video is going deeply into spoiler territory. So if you're really, really sensitive about finding out anything about Episode 7, then I recommend you not watching this video but obviously all this is just speculation uh, and these are not my own theories I basically gathered all this information from different forums some of the stuff was on reddit uh, so I'm just gonna take you through these conspiracy theories and then in the end share my opinion on it because I think some of the stuff is really really interesting now the big conspiracy theory that is hovering over the whole trailer is whether Luke Skywalker is Kylo Ren Kylo Ren is the new Sith Lord or like the new dark side dude that you see with this very iconic mask. Uh, we've seen him in the trailers, but we've never seen Luke Skywalker. Now, we know that Adam Driver will be playing Kylo Ren, and we have seen him without the mask in various images. I'm going to put a few of the images here, one on set uh, and one actually for like a Vanity Fair photo shoot. But nonetheless, there are some really interesting points that people made about Kylo Ren being... Luke Skywalker. So first of all, just to kind of get it out of the way, let's go through some points why it would make sense to support the standpoint that Luke Skywalker is not Kylo Ren. Now, two of those I just said already, Adam Driver is confirmed to be Kylo Ren in the movie. We have pictures. The second point is that his body shape does not really reflect Mark Hamill's body shape, uh, but very much Adam Driver's, right? He's young, he's quite skinny. The two bodies just don't really match up. Uh, it would be quite unrealistic also to edit, like, let's say, a face of Mark Hamill of the old age Luke Skywalker on top of such a young body. The whole thing wouldn't really match up. So from that point of view, it doesn't really make sense. Also, Adam Driver has given multiple interviews with the rest of the crew where he's clearly announced as playing Kylo Ren and all that. So these are the four reasons why it doesn't really make sense that Luke would be Kylo Ren. But nonetheless, let's go into these points that the conspiracy theorists are making and let's just look at them anyway. The first big one that struck me as well is if you look at the official Star Wars poster for Episode 7, which has been revealed recently, Luke Skywalker is not on it right? He did narrate one of the teasers, uh, we remember that, and we have this iconic scene where we believe it's him at least, where he puts his hand on R2-D2, and R2-D2 is on the poster, right? Like quite iconically in the middle and everything, he's a key character obviously, but not Luke. He is not to be found anywhere. So does that indicate that he is Kylo Ren because he's very big on the top of the poster? Also, if you look at the credits on the bottom of the poster, Mark Hamill is credited second in the list of all the actors. So why is he not on the poster? That doesn't make any sense. If you go to starwars.com, under the character information, Luke also is not listed. Uh, but Kylo's description is, quoting here from the website, a dark warrior, strong with the force, Kylo Ren commands first order missions with a temper as fiery as his unconventional lightsaber. And that description, together with the fact that Luke is not even listed there, is a little bit suspicious. Also, we've all seen it, Kylo Ren goes to pick up Darth Vader's mask and states, I will finish what you started, which very much, you could argue, sounds like something a son would say about his father, right? It is a kind of statement, like, father, I will finish what you've started, and that it also hints a little bit towards this theory actually being true. We've also never seen Luke's face in any of the trailers. Yes, there were leaked images where we've seen Luke looking a lot actually uh, like just a really old Jedi, similar to the old Ben Kenobi, but those were just leaked images and those were not official and they were never confirmed to reflect how Luke Skywalker will actually look in the movie. So I personally, I will not really trust these leaked images, but it is a definite fact that we've never seen Luke's face in any of the trailers. Now, another really interesting fact was dug out by a website called AV Club because they managed to find a 10-year-old interview in which Mark Hamill is speaking with J.J. Abrams about he envisions Luke to be turning to the dark side and then maybe killing one of the major characters like Han Solo. So it doesn't seem that far-fetched that maybe Abrams would jump on this idea. 
because not only it would give the whole thing like a really interesting plot twist, Luke being on the dark side, it would also give episode seven like this really strong element of surprise, a little bit like, you know, when Darth Vader announced that he is Luke's father and you really didn't see that coming. And by now, you know, it's such an iconic scene, but when it first came out, it was like such a big element of surprise in the movie that really made the movie big and nobody wanted to talk about it nobody wanted to spoil it so him being kylo ren might be this element of surprise that jj uh, abrams has hidden in the movie now obviously we do know like i said that adam driver is kylo ren but conspiracy theorists claim that it could just be a rouse and if kylo ren would be credited as mark hamill right as the actor playing this character then it would just spoil everything so you couldn't really do that so if kylo ren actually is luke skywalker it would be stupid to just credit him as mark hamill so in order to keep it a secret driver could just be hired as a buddy actor kind of like david prowse was for darth vader also jj abrams used the same trick uh, with benedict cumberbatch playing khan in star trek the character was originally called john harrison for all the promotion materials so he doesn't spoil that benedict cumberbatch is khan because we didn't know that in the beginning of the movie so these are the pros and cons for this conspiracy theory. Now, my personal verdict, do I think that Luke Skywalker is Kylo Ren? I personally don't think so. Um, I think the bodies don't match and why would you not hire a body type that matches at least a little bit better? But I think there is a very high potential for Luke to be on the dark side. Um, it has been leaked through previously that a main character like Han Solo or Chewbacca will die in this movie. Also, we got this scene of Leia kind of looking very distressed and sad with Han Solo, uh, which might be due to her brother actually turning to the dark side. So while I think that this is a really interesting theory and it's a lot of fun to chat about and go back and forth, I don't think that Luke will be Kylo Ren. Will Luke maybe be the new Palpatine, kind of a Sith Lord that is basically commanding Kylo Ren? I think he might be, and uh, he might be setting himself up with that for the next episode, episode 8, where he is one out of the two already confirmed actors on IMDb. So I think Luke Skywalker on the dark side is quite a big possibility, and it would really make for a great plot twist. So guys, if you have any thoughts on this theory, if you think it's true or not true, or have other points that I missed that speak for or against it, leave that down in the comment section below. I'm now going to come to the second conspiracy theory that I read about, and this I think is, is less serious, but equally fun to talk about. Um, bear with me on this one. So I'm going to tell this a bit more like a story. So Kylo Ren, right, obviously is a big Darth Vader fan. He wants to finish what he started and he has picked up his mask and it looks like he's kind of treating it like the holy grail for him. So imagine this scenario. He goes to where he was seen last, which is Endor, right? Because this is where we have seen Darth Vader getting cremated. That's where his body got burned. So probably Kylo Ren went to pick up the melted helmet from this place you can also assume that kylo ren uh, hates ewoks right because they helped in defeating the empire and they actually played a quite important role in the final defeat of the empire so in his anger and him already being on endor he picked up that helmet and then blew the whole place up and now you're like oh my god you're crazy that can't be right now look at the trailer look at this image or go to the trailer itself and watch at one minute four seconds you see kind of a big forest forest area which could be a forest planet which could be Endor being wiped out so obviously it's not easy to blow up a whole planet and you might be asking how he did it right how would this guy blow up the whole planet Endor well look at the Star Wars poster if you look at the top right corner you can see this kind of round shape and I'm sure you agree with me on what this construction is quite reminiscent of it does look like a new Death Star. So I'm saying Kylo Ren together with the Empire built a new Death Star and because they really hate the Ewoks, they blew up the whole planet. And based on this theory, I'm sorry everyone who loves the cute Ewoks, the Ewoks are no more and they are destroyed and basically extinct, right? So that's a bit sad because I think we all love the Ewoks and it would be such a bad thing to just kill all these cute Ewoks. But 
it is a quite interesting conspiracy theory and this is what this video is all about so guys if you have any thoughts on any of the stuff that i talked about if you think it's complete bullshit or it makes sense or it doesn't make sense leave all that stuff down in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you can subscribe to my channel please leave me a like on the video that would really help me out you can forward it to your friends you can discuss everything down in the comment section below i would really be interested in hearing your thoughts on this so guys take care and i'll see you next time i'm out bye